See, authority means the right to speak. That's what authority means, that, the, that you have the right to speak and to speak boldly and bluntly, yeah. right? And so you have been given dominion and authority and you can speak into your situation. And whenever you start to say, um, this is the way it's going to be. Now, if you're talking Bible, you see, you've got angels. There are angels in this room right now. Uh, more angels than there are us. Right. Amen? Amen. But everybody at least has one. Right. And the Bible says that, the, that these children's angel constantly face the Lord or they always see, behold his face. And so we know that as a child, everybody has an angel. There's nothing that ever says your angel leaves just because you get older. <laughs> Amen? So, and, and honestly, it depends on if you, if it's talking about physical or, or mental, you know, because we're supposed to be like children anyway. Isn't that right? And so we got angels. But if you're talking, you know, if, if you're going to stand there and talk news and well, this is what's going to happen. This one, that angels are standing there going, mm-hmm, mm, okay, yeah, okay. And, and you're calling things which be not as though they were because they hadn't happened yet. And you're talking, to, and then all of a sudden you go, yeah, that's what the news says. But let me tell you, the Bible says, and the angel goes, what, go ahead. And he waits. And whenever you start, start saying, well, the Bible says no weapon formed against me will prosper. So I don't care about this stuff. The Bible says I'm going to prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers. And that, right, right when you say that, that angel goes, all right, what's attacking you? We got to stop this. We got to stop that. We got to stop that. Nope, you can't. No, no, I can't come near my dwelling. Why? Amen. That's the way it works. Why, why do you say? Well, because the angels are ministering spirits sent to minister for us. And, but angels hearken to the voice of his word. So until you speak his word, angels don't do nothing. But they hearken. Now notice, they don't just hearken to his word. They hearken to the voice of his word. You're that voice. And when you start speaking his word, your angels start to move and start making things happen. And then they start think they go out and you start speaking the things of God. And then they go out and find, and they'll go talk to somebody for you. They'll go talk to somebody. You say, well, you know what? Well, here's what we need. We need the finances to start a business. All right, here's how much money we need. Here's what we need. But, you know, Lord, we really want to work with somebody that's honorable and want to work with somebody with integrity. So, Lord, we thank you that you prepare and you go before us. And we thank you, Lord, that you can make the right connections for us. And we thank you right now that, that our steps are guided by you. So we thank you. We're going to come into contact with the right person. And the angel says, you need to go to this house. You need to go to this business. Walk in there. Go to Walmart. Go to aisle four. And you'll be standing there looking at something. Somebody walk up and be talking. Y'all start talking pretty soon. Two weeks, you're in business together. Why? Because the angel of the Lord directed. Angels were guiding and directing. Does this make sense? Yeah. This is the way you function with dominion. You speak the word of God. And as a king and a priest, because we're made kings and priests under our God. Is that right? As a king and a priest, where the word of a king is, there is power. And what power? The word of the king, the Bible. You speak his word, angels work on your behalf. Amen. It makes life a lot easier because you don't have to do all the work yourself. Yeah. Amen. And you're always trying. Well, who have I got to meet? Well, I got to try to make an appointment with this person. I got to try to. Well, you know, I got to try. No, just relax and, and speak the word of God and watch. And you'll meet people and you'll think, you know, I wasn't even planning on going over there. I wasn't even planning on going to that thing. And I went there and made a great business contact, made a great contact with somebody. And God will work things through you and for you. And then you step back and go, wow, look what he's done. You know, and you didn't even know you were being led by the Spirit, you know, until later when you look back, right? So, 